Good morning, everyone. How are you this beautiful day that the Lord has made? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And this episode, as every Wednesday, is Sword of the Spirit. Sword of the Spirit. Well, what I'm getting at is as we go into the world each day, We have to be equipped with the full armor of God, and that's described for us in Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 20. And there we find that the sword of the Spirit is our only defensive weapon against the attacks by our enemies, our adversaries, that happens daily. Well, what is the sword of the Spirit? It is the Word of God. The Word of God. So in that We are looking at the Word of God, and we're starting in Psalms, picking out a few of our favorites, and then we'll review them and talk about how it relates to us. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode as much as I do. Today's episode is, How Much Does He Love Me? How Much Does He Love Me? In Psalm 8 and Psalm 9, there's much about the glory of our Creator. Let's start by looking at Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4 in the Amplified Bible. When I see and consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have established, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of earth-born man that you care for him? I love that, don't you? And so it's amazing to us, here the creator of the universe is looking down on us and he knows the number of hairs on our head. He cares about everything that we go through, whether it's big or small. Isn't that amazing? He cares for everything that he created, every living thing, everything that goes on in life, and nothing is insignificant. When we find ourselves in trouble, we can run to him. If our problems and circumstances are huge, he can handle it. It is not too big for him. With God, all things are possible. But if our problems seem too small to bother the Lord with, that it's not important to Him, think again, because He loves each of us more than we could ever love ourselves. More, He loves our loved ones more than we could ever love our loved ones. In Psalm 9, verses 9 through 12, we see that we can run to the Lord when our enemies are after us. Whew, that's a good thing, isn't it? So I'm going to read Psalm 9, verses 9 through 12 in the Amplified Bible. The Lord also will be a refuge and a stronghold for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name, who have experienced your precious mercy, will put their confidence and trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not abandoned those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord who dwell in, dwells in Zion. Declare among the people his great and wondrous deeds. For he who avenges blood unjustly shed and remembers them his people, he does not forget the cry, the afflicted, cry of the afflicted and the abused. The cry of the afflicted and the abused. Can you remember a time when it seemed impossible to make it through and you turned to God for help? Well, there were many times in my lifetime I have found myself in desperate, impossible situations. Often, out of foolishness, I had placed myself in it. But God lifted me out of the pit of despair in amazing ways. I'm alive now to tell it because I was in life-threatening domestic violence. I was in child abuse, and there were life-threatening issues all around me. But God delivered me time and time again, and I did not deserve it. Wow. He can see our heart, our sincerity, our repentance, our desperate needs. Time and time again, the Lord has rescued me, and I never deserved it. He can do that for you. How much does He love us? He sacrificed His only Son, Jesus Christ, for our sakes. Jesus suffered tremendously on the cross, but also from the betrayal of those around Him. He paid for our sins so we could have a future, so we could have a future and eternity with him that is unfailing love that is unconditional love that is amazing love by the blood of jesus christ i am redeemed if the lord can deliver me he can deliver you 
I urge you to turn to God. He does forgive. He does rescue. He delivers. And he redeems us through the blood of Jesus Christ. I want all of you to join me in the kingdom of God. The lesson David learned and I learned is this. You can turn to God with your problems. Have patient faith. He will help you in your troubles. He will answer you. Maybe not as quickly as you want or it won't look the way you expected it to be. So I invite you today to cry out to the Lord. Have patient faith that he will answer and he will answer. What else does David advise us to do? Well, let's relook at Psalm 911. It's in there. I'm going to read it. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare among the peoples his great and wondrous deeds. Hmm. And this we learn to sing and praise the Lord with gratitude for everything he has given us, everything he's already done for us. And if you look at it, he has already rescued you time and time again. It wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't a happen chance. All good things are by the Lord. And, to, and we, we need to share that. We need to praise the Lord, sing praises, worship him, and share our testimony of what the Lord has done for us. Our Heavenly Father loves us with unconditional love, unconditional love, unfailing love. There's nothing we can do to turn him away from us. He knows everything that we we do even before we do it. All he wants is for us to come to him, sincerely come to him, repent of our sins, and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We can do that. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will join me every Wednesday on Sword of the Spirit with the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And as you may know, every Monday we have a podcast, a topic that is for overcoming. It's sharing hope for healing and encouragement within our challenges. And every Friday is Karen's Book Corner, where I share a little bit about books I've written. Maybe I'll read a little bit. Maybe I'll give you a backstory. And also, I'm going to begin looking at other books that authors have done and give them a review. So that will be very interesting. And I, I just hope and pray that you will join me and you will join me in praising the Lord. This is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence, victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. Go to my website, contact page, and send me your comments and your suggestions. Any feedback is always appreciated. That is KarenJaneCasey.com. Well, thank you, and God bless.